Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about client side form validation. So let's see how can we do client side form validation in Laravel 8. Uh, so first of all, let's create a controller. So switch to the command prompt and here just type the command php artisan make colon controller. Uh, let's say controller name is auth controller. Alright, now press enter. Now run the application. So just write here php artisan serve. Alright, now switch to the project and just open auth controller. So just go inside the app directory, then http controllers, and from here just open auth controller. Inside this auth controller, uh, let's create a function. So just write here public function, function name. Uh, let's say function name is index and set this just return a view uh, let's say view name is register all right now save this file now let's create the route for this function so just open web.php file and inside this file just write here route get and add here the URI register inside the big bracket just write here the controller name which is auth controller also add here the controller like this okay and now here just add colon colon class and add here the function name which is index all right now save this file now let's create uh, this view so just go inside the resources directory then views and inside this views let's create a new file register.blade.php and inside this file let's add the html5 boilerplate so just type here exclamation sign and press tab now change the title here register all right now let's add the bootstrap cdn so just go to the get bootstrap.com and now click on get started and from here just copy the css and paste here now copy the js and just paste here all right now go to the google and uh, just search here jquery cdn now just open first link uh, click here minified and uh, now just copy and from here just remove this uh, jquery slim version okay so just remove this line and paste here all right now save this file now let's add the parsley cdn for uh, parsley js cdn so go to the google.com and here just search parsley js cdn all right now click on first link and from here just copy this parsley.min.js okay so just click here and after this paste here all right now save this file now let's add the form inside the body so first of all just add here the section and give some padding so just write here style padding uh, padding top uh, let's say 60 pixel and inside this section just add here the container then row column empty uh, 6 and set here the offset md2 md3 all right and inside this just add here card then card header all right just add here the title register card body and inside this just create a form okay so just write here form and set the id let's say register form all right 
and inside this form uh, first of all add here to add the rate csrf all right and now let's create some input field for the name uh, email password confirm password and phone all right so just write here form group and here just add the label for name and just add here name okay now create the input field input type is equal to text and uh, name is equal to name and just add here the id name and add here the class form control all right and uh, just write here required okay and now just copy this and uh, paste here uh, email password and for the confirm password and phone all right and now just change here uh, email password confirm password all right and this is for phone so just write here phone and now change here phone phone all right and uh, confirm password so just write here C password now just copy this and paste here all right and this is the password so just write here password now copy this and uh, paste here name ID all right and this is for the email so just write here email name email and ID email all right and also change here the type email and in the password just write here input type password and for the confirm password input type password all right okay now add here the submit button so just write here button uh, type is equal to submit Add here the class btn btn as primary and just add here a text submit all right now save this file now inside this field let's add the parsley validation so uh, let's add uh, first to the name so just write here uh, data dash parsley uh, parsley dash pattern and just write here for the name uh, in the big bracket just write here a to z and capital a to z all right and here just write here plus sign and dollar sign okay also accept the space so just write here the space all right and now data dash parsley and dash triggered is equal to pf all right data parsley dash trigger is equal to pf all right now just copy this and paste uh, here inside the email password and confirm password and also inside the phone all right and uh, inside the email field just write here data dash parsley and here just add type is equal to email all right 
and uh, inside the password uh, let's set the length so just write here data dash parsley and uh, dash length is equal to uh, just add here the mix, uh, minimum and maximum length uh, let's say minimum 6 and maximum 12 all right and uh, inside the confirm password just write here data dash parsley dash equal to all right and just add here the id of password okay so just write here has password all right and inside the phone uh, just write here data dash parsley and uh, add turn and just add here 0 to 9 all right and uh, here just also add the length so just copy this and uh, paste here all right minimum length and uh, let's say 10 and maximum 13 all right okay now uh, here just add the script tag a script and inside this just write here dollar function and inside this uh, dollar and just add here the form id which is register form all right dot uh, parsley okay now save this file now let's add the css for the parsley so just go inside the head and here just add the style tag and just write here dot parsley uh, dash error errors dash list li uh, and just write here a list of style none and also set the color red all right now save this file now go to the auth controller and let's create another function here so just write here public function and a function name uh, let's say function name is register submit and here just write request dollar request all right and just return simply return a message uh, form submitted successfully all right now let's create the route for uh, this function so just go to the web of php and here just write route post and uri register controller name auth controller column column class add here the function name which is register submit okay so just copy and paste here also add the route name auth dot register submit all right now just copy this route name and uh, just go inside the register.blade.php file and inside the form just add here method post and action action is equal to just add here double curly bracket route 
and paste here the route name auth register submit. All right. Now save this file. All done. So let's check this. So switch to the browser and just go to the URL slash register and you can see here the form okay now just click on submit and you can see the validation error okay if i enter here the wrong name uh, let's say one two three you can see this value is not valid okay invalid so just enter here the correct name uh, let's say mark is on enter here the email id uh, let's say amazon at the rate gmail.com all right now add here the password uh, let's say 123 and here let's uh, add here the confirm password different okay and you can see here the validation error this value should be the same all right so just add here the same confirm password okay so just write here one two three four five seven six seven all right now add here the phone number uh, let's add invalid phone number you can see the validation error now let's add the correct phone number like this all right now just click on submit and you can see here the form submitted successfully all right so in this way you can add a client side form validation in laravel 8 so that's all about client side form validation so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching